Hi! <laughs> oh my god! This is going really well. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, don't stop that. <laughs> yeah. Are we just gonna keep on rolling? Yeah, yeah I think we're gonna keep rolling. Okay. Um, yeah. Hi. Sorry. Hi, I'm Jackson Parley. I'm video editor for 34th Street Magazine. I'm Lucy Barry, and I do design for screen and do. Um, yeah, today we're going to be doing a mukbang mm -hmm. of commons, um, because why not? We're going to review some of the food, talk about dining on campus, stuff like that. Yeah. It's so, here. Let's start. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, sip. what is this infused with? It's pineapple and watermelon. Okay. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Yeah, there there are notes of pineapple in there. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of watermelon in the container. I could I could tell. So. I definitely I definitely get that from here. Okay. What are you What are you planning on starting with? Um. We should start with the savory stuff first. Obviously. I agree. Okay. So. so I'm gonna go for this. Let's do that. I'm gonna eat this couscous and yeah. this catfish. I don't like Ooh. vegetables. That's catfish. Um, yes. I hope it's good. It's bit. It might be cold. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Um, okay, I'll start off with this plate. Okay. I don't love eating fish in dining halls. Oh. Um, what? Why not? I don't know, it makes me nervous. Like, Why does it make you nervous? I feel like it's eating, like eating gas station sushi, you know? I've never eaten gas station sushi. Right, because you wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. So I just feel like like fish in a dining hall is also a big no-no. Yeah, it is. But a big no -no. here I am eating fish in a dining hall. So what are your other big no-nos when you're eating dining halls? Hmm. Interesting question. <laughs> I don't know. I don't eat a lot of vegetables, but that's just like a me no no. Okay. Um, not necessarily a dining hall no no, but yeah, definitely fish. Um, I don't want to eat any like meat that is like cold or like lukewarm. I went to Hill the other day, and I got like chicken, and the chicken was like it had obviously been cooked, but the okay. chicken was like. Lukewarm, it just made me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. I did not eat that. Yeah. My high school used to serve this um, thing called um, a Salisbury steak, and it was like, like, I had no idea what was in it, and it tasted so bad. Oh my god. Freshman year, I had it once, never ate it again. In my middle school, they had, they made um, chicken sushi. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, it was literally just like seaweed. <laughs> it was seaweed, rice, and then cooked chicken in the middle of it. And they were like, this is seaweed sushi. And I was like, no, that doesn't exist. Not seaweed sushi, chicken sushi. And I was like, that does not exist. There's no way that exists. Yeah, it was really gross. Wow. Would you say that's the grossest thing you've ever eaten in your before? Probably? Yeah. I would say so. Yeah. That's pretty gross. I think that really... I don't think anything else outdoes that TBH. No. Honestly, very gross. Mm -hmm. This catfish is not bad. How is it cooked? Like, mm -hmm. is, it, is it dry? No. It's, it's on the... Yeah. It's more moist. It's moist. It's a moist, it's a moist catfish, yeah. It's like real, they said it was. Okay. I don't know. It's spiced saying? well. Yeah. This curry is not bad. It's not very thick, but you know what? It's it'll do. I don't know why they put chicken in curry, but. Yeah, this watermelon pineapple is actually really doing the trick. Right? Okay, I'm gonna eat this couscous. I'm a little bit concerned about it. <laughs> now. <laughs> What is the difference between quinoa and couscous? That's a good question. They're two different grains. Quinoa is obviously like you've been a quinoa before. Yeah. It's like a lot smaller. Mm. I think quinoa has like a little like there's like a little like weird like shell thing. Have you noticed? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a little swirly. It's a little swirly, like a little like curly thing. Um <laughs> I prefer that. To, to couscous. Yeah. Couscous is just very like, I don't know. I don't like the, the size of it. It's too big. I hear that. Yeah. I hear that. Mm -hmm. Is there anything like about a food that like will be like absolutely not 
You know what I mean? Like, ab like absolutely. Like, like, is there anything that's like a, a big like no no for food like texture wise? Or, like, yeah, I'm trying to think about like, texture wise. Um, well, I can't do sour food at all. Really? Like, there's this like there's this melon that my grandparents used to make me force me to eat that was like super sour, and I was like, no, I can't. Um, so like I don't really like Sour Patch Kids, Airheads, like. Those kind of things? No, I can't. Yeah. When I was little, I didn't like chocolate. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why, mm -hmm. but my parents took me to Hershey Park in, in Pennsylvania. Okay. And they like, the, their thing is chocolate. Mm -hmm. And they were giving out chocolate everywhere. Like, mm -hmm. you would go on a ride, and after they would give you uh, like a, a sample of a chocolate bar. Okay. And I would just, every time that we would go on a ride and they'd give me the sample, I'd be like, no, thank you. Like, <laughs> I didn't want any chocolate. Um, and they brought me to the gift shop after, and they were like, you can pick out like one candy, like any candy in the gift shop you can mm -hmm. pick. And I literally picked the only candy that wasn't chocolate, which was extra sour Sour Patch Kids. And then I tried eating them, and they were too sour, and I cried. Wow. Yeah. So, um, I like chocolate now. Um, but yeah, not the- I also, I also used to hate chocolate too. Like we would, like we would go skiing. And my dad would like whip out a chocolate bar on the chairlift, mm -hmm. and I would just toss it because I didn't want it. And I felt <laughs> bad, like telling my dad I don't want this. I don't really eat dining hall pizza a lot, but this is not bad. Okay. It's like you kind of have to think of it as a different food. No, you though. do. You really do. It's like Chinese food. It's like American Chinese food. I think of it as a totally different category right. than like you can't compare. Chinese food. Yeah, you can't compare. You can't compare. Honestly though, because I was in boarding school for high school and I was already used to shitty ass dining food, I was totally fine coming coming to Penn as a freshman because I was like, this is fine, you know what? There's more choices and I'm okay with that, you know? So the transition wasn't that bad for me. Yeah. This is pretty good. Pretty solid. Like, out of five. Five being like the best pizza I've ever had. Oh. Well. Definitely a three. Yeah. Um, just because like it's not real pizza, mm -hmm. but it, it does the trick. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna try these chicken tenders for sure. With the ranch sauce. Oh, yeah. I much prefer Commons over Hill. That's okay. just me. Okay. I know there's like a big the like, controversy divide. You know that's like the big. Um, but. I don't know, I just feel like Commons is like less crowded and more open and like easier to get food. Mm -hmm. Like all the food is in one place here with Hill, you kind of have to like go to this station and then go mm -hmm. to that station and then go all the way across Hill to like mm -hmm. see the other stations and see yeah. if there's chicken and the noodles yeah. and the, see what they have to offer that day. So like, I, I don't know, I just, I feel like all the food is right there when you come to, when you come to Commons. The layout is very important, mm -hmm. um, where the food is. Absolutely. Yeah. I like New College House too. Because you go to New College House, right up there, they have all the food, one line. So the line is a little bit annoying though. That is true. To get in and out of, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, they have the, that delicious like meal for the one cent. Oh, what is that? Oh wait, you didn't know about this? Yeah. No. So for one cent of your dining dollars plus a swipe, they make you like a gourmet meal and it depends upon the day. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So you go in and you ask for a premium swipe, mm -hmm. and they have like a special meal you're making that day, so that you get whatever you want from the dining hall, and then they give you a number and they call your number when your like meal is ready. Okay. So they make like a little pot pie for you. Oh. Or like, I don't know. I've had like. What tuna. size? Is it like on the cafeteria side, or is it, it's like on the other side of the food? It's um. It's on the cafeteria side, like at the end of the line. Okay. They have like a little station. Yeah, and they just like pump out these like little meals for everyone, and they're they're so good. Like they're actually amazing. It's yeah. not real. It's like it's real food. It's like at a restaurant. Wow. Yeah. I mean, they're not always like super big, but they'll make like steak mm -hmm. or yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna try to do my French fry in the ranch. The ranch I feel like is very strong. It's very sweet. It's very strong. It's more ranchy than a normal ranch, I feel like. I don't know what if that's is just ranch? me. Like, what is ranch? I don't like, know. Like if I had, if someone who's never eaten ranch before asked you, 
tell me what ranch is like? What would you tell us? Okay. So, so it's kind of like creamy. It's got a lot of umami. Okay. Um, I don't know. It's like, it it tastes like it looks like it tastes. You know it's what I mean? Tangy. That's, tangy. What I, that's what I tell people. It's very tangy. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like sour, mm -hmm. but it is It is definitely tangy. Yeah, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. it, I don't know. When you look at it, you're like, this would taste like ranch. And then you taste it and you're like, it does. Yeah. Ranch is just like like everything like that you think about. Right. No, and that makes like, sense. Yeah. Okay. Good. I'm glad that we started with that. Do we go to dessert now? Yeah, let's go to dessert. Let's go to dessert. Okay. So, oh. Oh. <laughs> Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. The cereal is just here if you want it. Okay. So, this is like the typical common dessert that we have. Lemon. Pound cake, Lemon which is my favorite cake. at Starbucks, and it's not bad here. Marble pound, pound, pound cake. And what is this pie? Thing? Yeah, it was the last slice of chocolate cream pie. Interesting. Um, yeah, this is also a Sunday that Lucy made. Lucy, do you want to start on that, and I can start on these, yeah, and then we'll trade. I would love to. So, this Sunday um, has chocolate ice cream and blueberry cheesecake ice cream with a drizzle of chocolate syrup, a hint of maple syrup. And a sprinkling of fruit loops. Oh my there goodness. You go. There you go. Okay, I'm about to try this chocolate cream pie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, that's really good. I'm gonna I'm gonna save some for you because it's really, really good. But I wish I wasn't because I want to eat it all myself. <laughs> mm. A little bit crushed, a little bit weird. Yeah. Is it is it a um a graham cracker crust? I believe. Yeah. It is kind of a graham cracker crust. It's a little bit crumbly for me. Okay. Oh. Ah. Uh, I don't hate it though. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, go for it. Ah, oh, look at that. Wow. Wow. That just looks great. What kind of ice cream is that again? Blueberry cheesecake. Oh Do wow. Wow. Get a close-up of this. That looks delicious. Okay, I'm gonna break this in half. Mm -hmm. This is really good. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm excited. I love a dessert waffle. I love the concept of that. I love it too. I went to a bat mitzvah where instead of like a cake for like the candle lighting ceremony, she just had a, a waffle like bar, like a waffle dessert oh bar. My God. Genius idea. Any kind of bar yeah. is the best thing ever. Like, like you had to customize. Like a pancake bar and yogurt bar. Oh my God, amazing. Um, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. This marble float, not that bad. The problem with the food at Commons is that it looks bad. Like the dessert looks like it's gonna be bad. Like this chocolate cream pie looks horrible. No, yeah, terrible. Not bad food. That's what you honestly have to approach dining hall food um, with, like. Like those carrots, they look dry, right? Yeah. But they were tolerable. Like oh. I could have eaten like five. Interesting. And that would have been good, you know? Yeah. I'm gonna break this lemon loaf in half. I think we should combine all the desserts together in one. You think so? Yeah. Like a little bit of everything? Yeah, like a little bit of everything. Okay. I'm gonna get some I'm gonna get some uh pound cake in this Go for it. Also, like ice cream with like dessert, like always makes it better. Like you get ice cream to anything. All I'm out. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. That ice lemon loaf is so good. How zesty is it? Not super zesty. Oh, that is good. I don't know. The lemon, though? Or just everything? You need to try this before you eat the whole thing. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, I'm using my, my dessert spoon. This it's fine. Okay. Funny that you eat your dessert spoon, but I ate everything else with a spoon. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. 
But my favorite utensil is a spoon, for sure. Mm. Spoon then chopsticks. Yeah, that chocolate cream pie is really good. Here, wait. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna have some good I'm not a huge cheesecake person, but that like blueberry cheesecake ice cream. I'm gonna try the bread stuff actually. Oh, yeah. Are those chunks of cheesecake in it or no? I don't like, think so. It's just like blended in. Yeah. The ice cream flavors and commons are great because they're so strange. They're so strange. Like, just now, there was some like weird like pecan like toffee bar crunch like literally like I what is that? Very I hate obscure. I don't like any of those ingredients, you know. So I'm the person where like when I do ice cream, like the more ingredients in it, like the better it is. Like, I agree. Okay, like I, agree. I love that like Ben and Jerry's like American Dream. Yeah, like the more it is all, the better. Right, right, right. Yeah. I like the, yeah. the Ben and Jerry's fish food. That's my favorite. That is one of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up on that. Cherry Garcia is my favorite. Ooh. Favorite. Okay, I hear you. Yeah. I never learned how to like cut properly with a really? knife. Yeah. I cut. I um. I use the knife in my bone hair for both. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm an SMH. And you know what? That's okay. Okay, I'm almost there. I've almost... You're almost I've there. I've almost You're torn almost? off this waffle piece. Wow. Oh, oh that looks there delicious. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Thanks, Jean. Okay. That chocolate ice cream is very good, actually. It's very good, it's very rich, but not too chocolatey. I can't no. do like triple chocolate. Like, oh really? Ice cream and cupcake. Yeah. You know, that's too much for me. I forgot this water was flavored. Because <laughs> it doesn't look like it, you know. No. I mean, you see hints. You see like little specks of the water. Yeah, I see. That. And you're like interested. In it. What's in this? And then you drink it, and you're like, wow. I'm blown away. Yeah. I'm blown it away. It is really good. Right they didn't have to make this for us. Oh, but they always do. But they, they did. Like, I know. They always have like different concoctions. So it's kind like spa of them. water, you know? I know. For commons. So no. seventy-five thousand dollars. You got fruit water. Yeah. Essentially. That's yeah. good. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The only other time that I made this was um, St. Patrick's Day when I came here drunk. Actually, blackout because I don't remember anything. Okay. And I ate pizza here for the first time because I usually never eat the pizza here. Sure. And my friends were like, "Yeah, we should like ate like a lot of like, What? And um, I fell asleep at the table. My hair was definitely in some sort of sauce. Um, and then, I love that. I yeah. Was that the St. Patrick's Day? No, my freshman year. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh god, I was gonna no. say, I was like, Not someone swiped you in no. and you were oh drunk. Oh my god, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Freshman year. Oh my god, this is so good. Right? <laughs> this is kinda crazy. I think that the it's dining halls should be open a little bit later at night so that, you know, people can, like, you know. Come here and make this. Come here and make this. I feel like now that I know, though, like, I don't feel like I should. Come back, you know, because I feel like I'm gonna make this, and I feel of like that's course. that's so bad. You know yeah. what I mean? And I also don't really like telling people about this because I'm like, I can never tell you before. Right. It's my secret. Yeah, this should only be for a special occasion. It's my common secret. Yeah. The thing about waffles also is that they're a lot better when you make them yourself. Yeah. I love like the homemade, like the making the waffle in the waffle machine itself. Like, it, you this know is, what's this gonna happen. Right. It's gonna happen. It's your waffle. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. Okay. Are you finished? I don't know about you, but I'm full. Okay. I'm also pretty full. Although, I kinda wanna keep eating this, but I won't. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, I think we're finished? Yeah, I think we're finished. All right, so I'm gonna give Commons an eight out of 10. Delicious food, great homemade waffle. Yeah. Um, some highlights, chicken tenders and ranch. Chicken tenders and ranch. Um, um the fish. The fish was really good. That crazy seasoning. And I don't eat the fish. I don't usually eat fish here, but that was freaking good. That was really good. Yeah. 
Um, chocolate cream pie was pretty good. I don't yes. know if you even got to like have any of that, but I, I liked it. I had a taste. It was very good. Okay, yeah. Um, did not like the beets I didn't like that all. That plate can No, absolutely delete. not. Honestly, the soup wasn't that bad. Oh, I didn't have any it of the soup, nice, but I'll take like, your word It was a nice take on the um, chicken meat soup. Mm -hmm. Garlic, pasta, yeah, you know, take it or leave it. If you want to eat your pasta with lots of grease in it, I mean, yeah, it's, it's fine. Like, it was do, do what that will. It was a very greasy pasta. Yeah. Very, very greasy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then this, this water. The I water's kind of really great. I like the water. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good palate cleanser. It really is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's that, well, because, like, none of this is real food. So, like, at exactly. least you can take, like, there there was real fruit in here. Yeah. You know what I mean? And honestly, I love it when I feel refreshed after eating, like, a nice meal. And this water does it for me. Yeah. Like, I feel refreshed. True. Yeah. And then, but obviously, the star of the meal was this. This, this beautiful thing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Ice cream, waffle, Fruit Loops, the whole shebang. Everything, everything. It was delicious. Yeah.